pleasant good afternoon. We are here to celebrate the life of Maria Luisa Bido Kojo, better known as Funsi. We now invite our daughter to come in and do her tribute. Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself for those of you who might not know who I am. My name is Wendy Bido, and I am the, one of the daughters of the late Maria Luisa Bido Cajo. I will start off by saying a short poem from one of her sisters, and it goes like this. Until we meet again, a light from my life has gone. A voice I love is still. A place is vacant within my heart, which never can be filled. A bouquet of beautiful memories sprang with a million tears. I wish that God could have spared you, if just for a few more years. I hold you close within my heart and there you will remain to work with me throughout my life until we meet again. So rest in peace, dear loved one, and thanks for all you've done. A prayer that God has given you the crown, sorry, I pray that God has given you the crown you've truly won. Your vacant place, no one can fill. I miss you now and always will. And now I will con continue with the eulogy for Maria Luisa Bido Kojo. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of all my family to thank you all near and far for your continued support, words of encouragement, and for being there today to reflect upon the life of our dearly departed Maria. Born Maria Luisa Bido on 18th March 1947, the eldest child of Annabella Bido and George Gay, both deceased, in the picturesque village of Belmont on the beautiful Grenadines island of Caracol. Maria has 13 siblings on her mother's side, Mary Rowe, aka Dolly, passed away on 18th February, 2022. Rita Facey, AKA Nesta, Matthias Bido, AKA Goldtop, Steptoe, Boyston, passed away on the 10th of June, 2022. Anne Bido, AKA Ate, Margaret Bido, AKA Della, Trevi Bido, AKA Trev, Jane Bido, no AKA, and George Bido, who sadly passed away at a very young age. On her father's side, Norma, Agnes, Godwin, Benson, Paul, and Anne. Maria attended Haverville Government School. She said it was only for a short time, as she was the eldest child and had to help her mother with her younger siblings. When her mother left Caracol in 1961 to travel to England, the youngest sibling was only two years old. And Maria now, the main breadwinner, caring for her grandmother and a mother to her four sisters and one brother. Although she was lacking formal education, but with hard work and determination, Maria set out to achieve her main goal, supporting her family by keeping a roof over their heads food in the cupboard and their tummy and clean clothes on their backs. The main source of income for most people on the island of Caracol was domestic help. Maria preferred her perfect, perfect, perfected her craft by making sure that whatever work she undertake, it was done to a very high standard. Maria worked for many different family and businesses, 
to name a few, David Family, Lambert Family, Sydney Family, Kujo Family, Amigo, Cam Caracol, now known as Casada Bay. Her main job was washing, cooking, and ironing. Maria was a private, kind-hearted, considerate person with a strong will and determined spirit, which enabled her to achieve all that she's got today. Family is also very important to her and would go out of her way to make sure she visit the old, sick and needy, no matter the weather condition, and never ask or look for anything in return. With that determined spirit and never say never die attitude, Maria passed up the opportunity to travel to England at the age of 18. Her reason being is she went who would look after her grandmother and the rest of her siblings. And she said, furthermore, I was too old. Under Maria's watchful eye, all her younger siblings got the opportunity to go to school and gain an education. As children growing up, our mom would always insist that we make good of the education that we were getting. She would always say, I wish I, had, I was lucky as you all. You all are getting an education and you're not making good use of it. Maria had her first child, Wendy, that's me, at the age of 20 and continued to work hard to support her family. She was able to continue to work as she had babysitters on tap, Auntie Eti, Auntie Della, and Uncle Boyston. At this stage, both Auntie Dolly and Auntie Nesta have already left the island to join their mother in the UK. Maria will later go on to have a second child, Linda. At this point, her younger siblings will all eventually leave the island for pastures new to join the mother in England. Maria will later go on to have her third child, her first son, Neil. She was very excited because she wanted a son after having two girls previously. And so was I, because I now have a baby to play with and practice my hair plaiting skills. For those who, who had the opportunity to know Maria in her earlier years growing up in Caracol, would know that she was a great runner, would never make and would cover many miles in a short space of time. She also loved her cricket, but could not bat to save her life. Every time it's leg before wicket, and will always ask for more time to get her batting skills up to speed. Maria also had a great arm for throwing, and that was, and that what she lacked in the batting department, she make up for in the fielding department. Maria always said, if she had the opportunity to partake in athletics, she would have broken many records and that we, our family, have no doubt she would have. Maria had many other passions, such as baking, not the greatest cake maker, but no one had the knack to, make up so, to mix up some flour and come up with the best roast bakes ever. She also loved cooking cuckoo with okra and fish, especially at Easter time. If you had the opportunity to visit Maria's home, you can guarantee your belly will be filled and when you leave, you will be given enough food to last you for days. Maria also loved playing cards and doing word search. She will sit on her own for hours playing patience, also known as solitaire. Maria tried on many occasions to obtain a visa to, to visit America, but wasn't successful and never gave up hope that one day her fortune will change. The opportunity to travel to pastures new will eventually come in the shape of her late sister-in-law, Mrs. Leonora Plenty, AKA Cousin Cynthia, who said to her, you are working so hard for everyone and never given the opportunity to travel and make something of yourself. This time you will get the opportunity. And so the new chapter in Maria's life started. Maria traveled to England in January 1981 to join her mother and the rest of her siblings in Huddersfield, leaving behind her three children, Wendy, Linda, and Neil. Maria would later marry her husband, Daniel Kajo, on 24th March 1981 in Huddersfield, before eventually moving to Bedford to start her new life. Maria would later go on to have her fourth child, Alan, 
also known as the loud and lazy one, in 1982. With all that hard work and, determina and determination, Maria would later land on her feet again with the, late, with the help of the late Mrs. Sybil Lewis, AKA Cousin Sybil, who got her a job at Charles Wells Brewery, where she, Maria worked hard and saved her pennies, and with the help of her husband, family, and good friends, got enough money together for her to buy the tickets and get her three children over to England in 1983. Maria will work at Charles Rosebury until she retired at the age of, at, on her 60th birthday. This was a shock to her family when she retired, as she was a workaholic. Her comeback was, I've been working since I was three years old, and no, and no, work, and no work is written on her back. As I've mentioned before, Maria loves a good card game and would invite the ladies over for a card game night. This will consist of much, much laughter eating, drinking, and maybe a little disagreement along the way. She will also teach the younger ones how to play the game of all fours, roaming, such the park, to name a few. Maria was a very proud lady with the heart of a lioness who will protect her children with every bit of her life. She was also a very stubborn, she was also very stubborn, and when she set her mind to something, no matter what you say or do, nothing will get her off track or change her mind. My sister and I will have this running joke when it comes to our mother and her stubbornness. We always say she's as stubborn as a mule. Maria had her way with words, for example, brown goat was ram goat. And before passing away, she said to me, I don't understand why people are always making a fuss about lology. I asked her, what is a lology? She said to me, you know the thing people do when someone die and they tell their story? I said, you mean eulogy? She said to me, you know what I mean. So, mina inene and mina ipare. There is a serious side to Maria. If she said yes, you never have to doubt her. Her yes means yes and her no means no. She had the memory of an elephant. Never forget the good that someone did for her and equally so. She does not forget the wrongs that might have been done to her also. Belmont, Monva, Max Wayne, Bedford has lost a female champion when God called Maria Louisa home on 6 June 2022. Maria is survived by her husband Daniel, her four children, Wendy, Linda, Neil, Alan, her 10 grandchildren, Monet, Jaden, Tyler, Kyron, Lauren, Rihanna, Sienna, Marley, Lincoln, and Anaya. Her seven sisters, four brothers, several nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends, who will sadly miss her today and always. Maria, Ponsi, Ponsini, Patricia, mom, mother, sis, sister, nan, auntie, cousin, whatever you were called by, we miss you, we love you, but we know God has a much bigger plan for you, and that is why he took you home. I will finish with this, the eulogy with a little poem. You can, you can only have one mother, patient, kind, and true. No other friend in all the world will be the same to you. When other friends forsake you, to mother you will return. For all her loving kindness, she asks nothing in return. As we look upon her pictures, sweet memories we recall of a face so full of sunshine and a smile for one and all. Sweet Jesus, take this message toward your mother up above. Tell her how we miss her and give her all our love. May your beautiful soul rest in peace, in eternal peace. Thank you.
Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to rear, a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord.
my father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place we are going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. To be seated, I bless you in the name of God, Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit.
loved one may not be with us anymore. But let us have the faith that God has promised us. Because he's the resurrection. He is the life. He is not a prepared place for us to believe and trust in him who will do his will. And he gives us an opportunity that when days like this come, that he gives us an opportunity to not only be sad, but to rejoice, we can live in the hope of the life that God has promised us, that I have faith in him to do his will. Yes, he's gone to be a place for us. So I thank the example, I thank Maria Lucia Bidou Kuju Kutri Step 1C for the example that she's given to all of us. And I ask that we can try to eliminate some of it. We will try to make sure we copy it. We will try to make sure we try to live it. Not because you know, just we want to do it because we do her, but because we are seeing in her, in her life, in her example, the way in which we believe God calls us all to I know that she had a service already, and uh, we're just here to make sure we need this end part before we put her down. So she's all right with God. And just one way that we should be able to know that we leave, we should also be right with Him. You know that the example that He was gave to us is not meant to be sad, but for us to be us. My brothers and my sisters will be born. Morning has one part of joy with us. They shall be last forever. And there is their day to come. Live in a hope is their day that God gives to us, even though we might be sad now. So that she has given us an example for us to hold on. The Lord bless you, the Lord is not you, may He guide you, and you live to see the blessings of the office to all of us. In the name of God, Father, and God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we stand? So when we say stand, I gotta remind you that the many of our many is sick to you. Because you have a lot to go into. That's a lot of energy you're burning. But others, we can stand. It's not that we make any distinction, but they're going through a tough time. They don't get to the energy. But let us all stand in honor and respect of you, see Maria, the two, who is your Mr. Ponce. You know, God has given us hope of the life that He calls us to, one in which we can see and know He has given us an understanding summary of who we are and who we live, which is expressed in our faith. We can be glad if we can see the faith together to reaffirm us and reassure us of God's promise to us. I believe in God, the Father of mine, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered on the Holy Spirit, was crucified, died in the Spirit. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He descended into heaven and is seated at the right hand he will come again to the earth, living in the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy God and the Church, the coming of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last season. Amen. We we'll want some prayers and uh, some prayers. You see the prayers in the bulletin, page 9.
of time share. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious God, we pray for those others whom we may not know, whom Maria helped, supported, and affected during her life. May we all be united one day in the joy of heaven. We pray for anyone whom Maria may unknowingly offend during her lifetime. We pray that you will heal their hearts. Lead us all to the harmony and peace of God's children. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Gracious God, we pray for the whole people of God. Give us all the grace in our own families, our communities, and throughout the world to be light of truth, justice, and love. Merciful Father, accept this prayer for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, Lord, has taught us all the grace and the prayer which we all should know to help. Let us join together in the saints in this known as the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray with confidence of our Savior as follows. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of the Lord, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Can you all stand with the family of the nation? Would everybody please stand and sing that wonderful hymn? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to be for the privilege to carry.
folks we thank you for viewing this part of the service join us back in 20 minutes time as we do the burial for miss punzi pung maria luisa kojo bido
We thank you for viewing on behalf of X Flow Carrier Quant the Mark Metcalf Entertainment Plus. We say thank you and condolences to 